Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. My name is Harbin Kaur and I am here with Asha Kaur. Um, Asha, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. My name is Asha Kaur. I am a researcher with the Sikh Research Institute known as Sikri. And we create educational resources for Sikhs worldwide to connect with the Guru. And I have a project called the Persian Voice of the Guru. And if you go on the Sikri website to the experience section, you can engage with Persian Shabad. And I have some commentary in text and audio form. Um, so I understand you come from uh, a pretty uh, mixed background. Um, can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, so I grew up uh, in a household where people spoke Punjabi, uh, but I never learned it. Um, my mother is white, American, Christian, but taught me Sikhi from the heart and has a lot of knowledge. But the one thing she couldn't share with me is the knowledge of Punjabi. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my parents weren't speaking it with each other. And also much of my family speaks Hindi on a day-to-day -day basis. So the Punjabi language skills never came. And then that kind of became a bit of a, a barrier. I felt a little excluded sometimes um, from learning about Gurbani. But then I discovered um, my, you know, my Dabi Ma is actually from Iran and grew up learning Persian. So that kind of became, that kind of mixed up aspect of my heritage became my way of connecting. Yeah, that's very relatable. I feel like so many, um, especially in the US, uh, you're from Illinois, I believe. Yeah, from Chicago. From Chicago, yeah. Uh, have like a, such a mixed like uh, background, um, like growing up, uh, like what's that called, like a multicultural um, like background. So how did you um, connect to like Sikhi? So a little bit um, from your Nanima side, Dadima side. Um, but can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, I think um, my 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 mom made an effort to learn the Sakis and read Gurgan Sahib in English translation the best she could. So she taught me a lot of the, despite being not from the culture and not from the religious background, taught me a lot of the principles. And then my my dadima and my dad kind of taught me a lot of the cultural elements and also um, about kind of the space of the Gurdwara, things that you're more familiar with if you grow up in those spaces. Um, and then I think my, my mom also really connected with the justice elements of Sikhi and really kind of taught me the importance of seva because my mom did so much seva for the Gurdwara uh, when I was growing up and so all those things kind of came together. You know, I had, when I, when I needed someone who understood kind of the geographic uh, in historical context, I had that side of my family. And then I think my mom actually was able to learn these um, these messages and principles in a more distilled way, um, outside of kind of the cultural lens. So it, it's kind of nice sometimes to get a kind of a third party perspective on Sikhi, because then it, sometimes it's uh, when someone has to learn it themselves later in life, they're able to explain it back. Yeah, you get, you completely interpret it like differently, like every stage of your life. Um, how about kind of like uh, the, your connection with like the Shabbat, the aspects and like the poetry? I think that for me, learning Persian, uh, and it didn't take that long to really get to a level of Persian where I could access Persian Shabbat. I think what's really powerful about um, South Asian, Indo-European languages is that the words are all very interconnected, and so once you learn the basic vocabulary, you can understand very complex uh, Shabbat and, and complex poetry in other contexts as well. Um, and I think for me, it was now that I had a language where I felt uh, an actual understanding of the words, it became so much easier to connect to the Shabbat. But I think the really special thing that happened was here I was working for Sikri, um, engaging with Persian Shabbat. But then, you know, you start to see the way the language of Gurbani works, lots of the words from other languages are woven into the Persian. Then I started to look at, see those words and patterns throughout Gurbani in general. And then all of a sudden I'm realizing that I'm kind of getting an understanding of other languages too. So it, it kind of became 
a, a base and then I could expand from it. And soon I was helping with our trans creations of other parts of Grogan Seb. So it's not, nothing exists in, in isolation. And if you can access any part of it, everything is so connected that you'll start to see patterns and ideas. Um, and even even just a little, even understanding a few words and really knowing them really helps. Yeah, it, yeah it's so interconnected and just goes to show like anyone can uh, connect to the money. I totally agree. Um, so, what would, uh, if you had to send a message to um, other six, like other multicultural six growing up in the US, and you know, like for me, for example, I have, um, like both of my parents are Indian, but I spent my entire life growing up here, so I've always felt that split identity. Um, so, other self identifying six, what advice would you have for them? Um, I would say that we all actually have, I think a lot of the times our mixed identity is seen as a barrier or being less connected with Sikhi or with the Guru but you know and we know that the Guru is for everyone and the Guru is omnipresent so that's not really from a Sikhi lens that's not really possible for you to be disconnected by virtue of where you were born or your culture or your language because the Guru is can be accessed by all of us um, and I, I really think that you may not realize it, but there's strengths in your story that will allow you to connect to Sikhi, should that be the path you want to take. And I think that once you have that knowing and once you have that knowledge and that connection, no one can take it away from you and it will shine and people will learn from you. And I think that if you can take that first step, you'd be really surprised where, where you'll end up. And this is a very personal journey. Um, I think the amazing thing about the Guru Granth Sahib is that uh, no one can tell you how to engage with Guru, um, but at the same time, we can't do it all on our own. So it's very collaborative. It's about finding those friends who are willing to engage with you and talk with you and learn with you. Um, so it's not about telling each other what to do or some people being better at things are worse. Um, it's really it's a team, it's a team effort. And uh, so, if you find if you find your sangha, and your sangha could be there could be a couple people that you really really learn from who are maybe your age or grew up in a similar context as you. That's a great place to start. You know, even if you feel kind of disconnected from a larger community. Mm. So thank you for spending um, some time with us.